Good evening. We continue our coverage in Augusta tonight. Investigators say the girls were just 13 years old when the murder of Joanne Johnson was committed. The girls are being held on first degree murder charges in connection to that case. And the KBI says it has not identified any sort of relationship between the girls and Johnson. Cakes Abby Ray has details. Joanne Johnson's neighbors remember her as a kind and independent lady. They miss seeing her wave hello as they walk by her home. But most of all, they're grateful that the wheels of justice are finally starting to turn. The house where 93 year old Joanne Johnson lived still sits in a quiet Augusta neighborhood. It's been nearly a year since her murder, and now authorities say they've made two arrests in the case. It kind of amazed me that it said it was two females. So yeah, it, it was a it was very shocking. Stan Colbeck owns M and J's Coffee House, and he says the whole town has been talking about the two local 14 year olds that were arrested for first degree murder Thursday. He has a question for the recently arrested girls. Why did you do it? I mean, she was 93 years old. A shocking new detail. Parents say their kids witnessed police pull the teenagers out of class, arrest them, and escort them off property. Augusta Public Schools released a statement saying in part, it, referring to the crime, did not take place on district property, and no one from our school was placed in harm's way at any time. Younger people, I mean, when I was younger, I talked about everything, so it's amazing that nothing was ever said for, for so long. Parents in Augusta say the two girls arrested were not troublemakers in school and known to be quiet. Johnson's neighbors say they're glad her family finally has answers, but they're still deeply upset this tragedy took place at all. Neighbors say they don't believe the two young girls were related to Johnson in any way. The investigators have yet to release her exact cause of death, and the two young girls have not yet been formally charged with first degree murder, so it's unclear if they will be charged as either a minor or an adult. In Augusta, Abby Ray, Cake News on your side.